When I talk about what success looks like, I went around and interviewed principals of good schools and saw what they were doing to say, hey, what are you doing in your school to have success consistently? Because success is not just, it doesn't just happen by happenstance. It's actually systems that we put in place. I said, no longer will we be a middle of the road school. No longer will we be this Title I school alone. So, my question to you, wonderful teachers here at Sycamore Elementary, was it Longhorns? Who little Longhorns? What do we want the community to say about our school? If you get one person who believes in something that they can change a lot of things, you get two, three, four people believing in the same vision, in the same narrative, talking about it every single day, and then telling the kids about it, I promise you the game will change. As we're coming back to a full year, a year off of the heels of uh, international pandemic, it is going to cause us to rise to the occasion and put more energy and more effort into the work than we've ever done before. So I want to ask you a question. And I want you to write it down. Why did you get an education? What's your why? When you talk about a young person about to take an assessment that grow up in poverty, they have something called negative self-talk. They go to take the test and something in their mind says, I'm not smart enough. I'm not brilliant enough. I didn't come from the right community. I don't have the right parents. I'm not the right skin color. I don't have the things that make me special so I can pass this test. So what you have to do is give them a different talk so that when they go to take that test, they hear Ms. Jones telling them every single day, I'm the best. And not Ms. Jones just saying it, they're saying it to themselves over and over and over again. So what happens when they're faced with situations, when they're faced with obstacles, what comes to their mind is the thing that they repeat it over and over again. And that comes because you had teachers who loved them and said, I'm going to give you a thought process that you didn't have before. And kids rise to the bar that you set. So if that bar is down here, that's the level they're going to rise to. So raise the bar. If I ask you for the key of the promise, then yeah, you the bad kids, you give me a long list. But I ask you who your top 20 performing kids in the school, you get quiet on me. I say, hey, who, who, who's all the kids that get 90s and 100s every single time? Who are those kids? You wouldn't know. Why? Because we have a propensity to think negative all the time. You got 30 kids, three kids in your classroom make you want to go like stop everything. The other 27 are decent kids. You only focus on the three, the three act like a hundred. But I want you to start thinking about the 27 that's doing well. Start making success in the school something that is to be revered and honored. That when you have a high academic success here at Sycamore, that's who's going to get this attention. That's how, that's how you change the narrative. Because now even the kids that are acting up say, hey, you a teacher, you got this part. I don't believe what you mean. I don't want that. Yeah, let me show you how to do it. So are we committed to doing this work of being a premier school of Blue River School? I need to know that. Five show hands, let me just see. Oh yeah, I'm in the right place now, baby.